twist by Charles Dickens. How it all turned out. Oliver's new star in life had one sad part. Little Dick had died. He never seemed to see better life. He never lived to see a better life, but Oliver never forget him and how much Lil Dick had loved him. The property of Oliver's father had, was divided equally between his son Edward and Oliver. Mr. Brownlow adopted Oliver as his own, his son. Edward went back to be monks. He spoiled the second chance Mr. Brownlow had given him. He wasted all of his money and returned to crime. He died in prison. Mr. Noah Claypole went free after ratting on Fagan. He went into business helping the police, which gave him and Charlotte enough money to get along. Charlie's Batrits, shocked by Sykes' crime, changed his ways. He moved to the country and found work on a farm. The rest of Fagan's gang stayed in trouble with the law and la and their lives ended in prison. Mr. and Mrs. Bumble lost their jobs when their money was gone. They were sent to live in the same workhouse they, where they had once been so mean to others. Mrs. Maylie's son, Harry, married Rose. They had a happy, loving marriage. Mr. Grimwood never really ate his own head. Mr. Brownlow loved Oliver more each day. He gave him books to study and showed him how to live a good life. Oliver never forget to pray, give, to give prayers of thanks to the one from whom mercy and, the, and goodness comes. The love, hopes, and peace that Oliver had searched for had finally come to him.